It starts with influence. Uh, the second word that I'd like you to write down, um, we're actually going to do uh, via a story. Uh, and so we'll do the story first and I'll give you the word. I'd like you to draw a big circle on your sheet of paper, please. If you need to go to a new sheet, feel free. That's why we gave you multiples. Uh, so just draw a big circle. Once you got your circle drawn there, show your partner what you consider to be a big circle. Did you use the whole page, half the page? Does it look like Adam Sandler's head? Is it actually a square and you're trying to be creative? Uh, what the hell is your Don't judge other people's circles. They'll be like, my circle's bigger than your circle. Okay, let's start the class on a good foot with one another, okay? All right, so you got the circle. How many people in here are married? Raise your hand if you're married people, okay? Uh, Ashley uh, and I have been married for 11 years, happily for eight. That's not bad. Isn't that a good number? <laughs> it, took, it, took me, it took her like three years to train me up. So, and I did, I do not train well. Let's just say that, right? I'm I'm a guy. I love my mother. I lean on things. I eat meat, and I do not train very well. Right? That's just part of who we are. So, uh, took took her a few years, but. Uh, this story about our second word uh, comes from uh, a married couple that uh, uh, she was going to marriage counseling. It was so bad that he wasn't even going. Only her, right? And every time that she would go into this counseling session, uh, she would only have negative things to say about her husband. Every single time. Uh, she is what we call in the biz a chicken little, right? Chicken Little's in the cartoon world, uh, what, what, what's his famous phrase? The sky is falling, the sky is falling, right? Chicken Little's in the real world are negative people, right? Those are people that brighten the room when they leave the room. Anybody know a Chicken Little? Raise your hand if you know a Chicken Little. Be honest, we all know Chicken Little. How many people there know you can be a Chicken Little from time to time? How many people there are not raising your hand because you're a Chicken Little right now? You're not going to raise your hand. Right? This lady was great at being, uh, you know, negative. She had just, she had developed that habit. And that's what it is. And if you have people in your life that are like that, you should see it that way. It's a habit, like any, like any other habit, okay? They were not born that way, right? They were not in the delivery room going, I hate this place, let me back in. No, you are a bad doctor. I, this place looks funny. Why do I have this stuff all over me, right? We don't, we're not born negative, right? I waited until after we ate. <laughs> it's a habit that we learn, right? And she learned very well. Uh, every single time, she'd only have negative things to say about her husband. Until one day, the marriage counselor, who was female as well, finally got fed up with it. She said, listen, here's what's going to happen. Every time when you come in now, you are only going to say positive things about your husband, okay? My marriage is hurting because i got to spend an hour with you every week, all right? I'm tired of it. Only positive things, that's it. The lady thought it was a little, you know, a little awkward, right? I mean, that, that was one of the reasons why she loved it, because you could just gripe about her husband for an hour. But the professional said otherwise. So went in the next week, could only say positive things about her husband. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, right? And we're giggling a little bit, but I mean, she was in a bad way, right? When in the next week, she was totally just being sarcastic. Well, he wears the same colored socks, right? He uh, puts the garage door down after he leaves. Like, she was just like, this is ridiculous. The next week, she loosened up a little bit. And the next week, and this went on for a long time. You know, because the counselor, you know, she had certificates on her wall. You know, she knew a few things, right? She knew that the habit of uh, viewing something in a negative light takes a lot of time. You know, to really formulate as strong as it was. So it would take a good amount of time to, you know, get a different habit. And so it went week after week after week. And finally, it got to the day that the counselor was waiting on. And, and uh, she asked the lady to get out a sheet of paper. And she asked the lady to draw a circle on it, uh, just, just like you all have. So, yes, you have now officially entered into counseling. Uh, thank you very much for attending the session. Um, and here's what she, she asked her to do. The counselor asked the lady to do. She said, I want you to go back and say all the negative things about your husband again. And, and, and when you do, put a dot in your circle. Now, don't say negative things about your, your significant other, particularly if they're in the room. But just start putting a bunch of dots in your circle. Because she still remembered it, right? So she starts saying, so right now, put a bunch of dots in your circle. Go, 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 go. Dot, 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 dot
keep going, keep going. You're not talking your paper sister. The pin's not going to work on its own. Come on now, you got it. There you go. All right, dot, 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 dot. Keep going, keep going. There was a long list. Some of y'all are really hitting that paper. I don't know who you're thinking about, but here we go. And now stop. Now stop. Now, uh, I'm going to ask you the same thing that the counselor asked the lady. Look in your circle and write down the first word that comes to mind. Go. Look in your circle, write down the first word that comes to mind. If you're not writing yet, you're on like your third word. Pizza. Okay? Okay. All right, now share with your table what did you write down? Share with your table what did you write down? Alright. Okay. Yeah, hurt. Let me hear some words. What do we got? Dots. Dots. Who's tired? Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Who said pizza? Pizza. Pizza? You just ate, sister. Come on. Cookie. Cookie. Messy. Messy. Full. 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 Okay. Well, this lady said dots. Okay. Now, who said dots or spots or anything like that? Anything similar to that? Yeah. Now, uh, first of all, let's let's notice that that this lady said that as well, and she needed counseling. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sure there's no connection at all. I'm just saying. So, so then, then the marriage counselor asked the lady a very important question. I'll ask the same question of you. In your big circle, which is there more space of? Space where there's open space or space where there's dots? What do you got? Open space or dots? If yours is actually a big circle, okay, as the instructor instructed you to do, you probably more open space than dots. And then the marriage counselor said, this is what's wrong with your marriage. That lady was confused. So what do you mean? The counselor said, well, see, you know, the dots represent the negatives, right? Say a negative, put a dot. So that means that the open space represents the positives. Okay? Um, the lady was still confused. She said, well, when you looked in your circle, all you, you, know, you just saw the dots. Still nothing. And the counselor wanted her to get really, really, really confused so she could have that moment of clarity. Right? Which is a tactic that some of the trainers may use in Leadership Liberal, by the way. So if you're confused two hours in, just know it's on, it's on purpose. Okay. Then, to get clarity, the marriage counselor pulled out the two lists. Okay? The list of negatives that the lady had made in the first number of weeks of going there. And then the list of positives. And the list of positives is longer. And it floored the lady. And the counselor said, see, here's the deal. What's wrong with your marriage is not that your husband is, you know, has, has uh, you know, uh, weaknesses and limitations. He's a man, right? They all do. They come like that. Read the fine print, right? Okay. What's wrong with your marriage is that you have developed the habit of only looking at the negative, only seeing the dots, just like in your circle. You saw the dots, even though there's more open space. You just chose not to look. So you need to go out and you need to start looking at the positives because there's a lot more. You need to just choose to look at them. Our second word is the word spirit. What happened to that lady was she lost her spirit, right? She lost her spirit. Now, I'm not talking about you know, spirit in a, a, a religious sense. I'm not talking about in a, you know, I love leadership. Yes, I do. I love leadership. How about you? Woohoo! Right? You'll do cheers like that in some of the sessions, but, you know, so that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like Casper the Ghost spirit. What I'm talking about when I'm talking about spirit is the ability to face <laughs> challenges but remain positive. Right? We all know those people. Right? We know those people that are always have a smile on their face, love in their heart, no matter what's going on. Right? They literally could be standing in the middle of traffic with a tornado coming and a hailstorm, and they're like, Woo! How you doing? Yeah! Whole moon just second. Woo! This is awesome. You know? We all know people like that. It, it, it's, they just have this, you know, this spirit inside of them right? that just brightens a room, makes the impossible possible, um, gets projects done, uh, solves problems, um, takes a look at things that everybody else doesn't want to look at, and they face them head on. All right. Now you see how I started there. I started with, you know, they brighten the room. Woohoo! That's great. Let's all sing la di da. Right. All the way to. Real, tangible leadership outputs, impacts. When you have the ability to be able to have a list of negatives, uh, whatever that may be, okay? take a community, for example. Is liberal perfect, yes or no? 
Does it have challenges? Absolutely. Does every community have challenges? Communities that have fewer challenges than other communities, what's the common theme amongst them? What do you think is a common theme? What would you say? If you could pick one, what do you think is a commonality amongst communities that have fewer challenges than other communities? Leadership. Leadership. Sometimes a very small handful of leadership, right, that are just really making things happen, making an impact, right? Our expectation of Leadership Liberal is that you are a very purposeful part of that team. But to be able to do that, you have to investigate your spirit. You have to say, can I be standing in the middle of that oncoming traffic with that tornado coming, with the health storm coming down, and still be able to be calm, like a duck on the water, right? Calm on top, but underneath just flapping those legs, right? That's what leadership is, is that ability to do that. 